Welcome back! In this video I will show you how to use Linux device numbers and Linux device files. But before we start, I want to show you I will push all my source code I'm producing here up to a GitHub page so you can get it downloaded and do whatever you want with it. But now let's go back to our Raspberry Pi. I'm still connected over SSH to my Pi and I think you all know the directory slash dev. Inside here you can see all the different devices on your system. But um, when you have a device here and you have a Linux kernel module or device driver on the other side, how can you connect them together? And the answer is over a device number. So if you um, just make a ls all and let's say I only want to display the TTYs here, you can see, um, for example, here dev TTY is dev TTY is assigned to the major device number five and the minor device number zero. You can see here we have a lot of devices which are assigned to the number four, but they are they have different minor device numbers here. And in a Linux kernel module you can allocate or register such such a device number and if you connect them together, if you open up a device file, you will call the opening method or the opening function defined in your Linux kernel module. And so you have the link. So if you write to a device file, you are calling the write function within the Linux kernel module, which has registered the device number assigned to a device file. Okay, so let's try to implement this. So let me just copy um, the folder with from the last time dev number and I will go into this folder I will move my module to dev number C and I have to change it in the um, make file as well okay and now let's yeah, let's change it here Let's add a device number here. Okay, to access the file system, we need to include linux.fs for file system. And I will change the description as well. Um, registers a device number and implement some callback functions. Okay. So now we have to add some callback functions for opening and closing the file. File is opened. Okay, so this function is called when we will open our device file. And has to be from the type static int. I will call it driver open, but you can use any name you want to. And it must have the following arguments. Okay, a variable from the type struct inode and a variable from the type struct file instance. Okay, I won't use um, these input parameters here, but you can use them, for example, um, inside them you can find information if you want to open the file or read only or write only or read and writable and stuff like that but I won't focus on it on the videos. If you like to have more information about it just look look um, them up and you will find information what you can do with them. I will just print your um, dev number open was called and I will return zero to indicate everything worked fine. If an error occurs, you can return a negative value. And now let's just let me 
copy the function here. And I will change it to closed. It needs exactly the same IPO parameters. Close was called. OK. And now we have to define a struct <clears throat> which contains our operations, our file operations. OK. And the owner is so define this module view. Um, we want to set the open callback to driver open and we want to set the close callback which is called release here but never mind close driver close okay and now all we have to do is register our um, device number Okay, and I will declare an integer variable up here. And now I will say I will call the function register register char def. Okay, and I have to pick a, I have to pick a device number. So this let me just close this file here and you can find all the device numbers and to what driver they are assigned in the file proc devices. So here you can see it is separated into block devices and character devices and let's look for a free number 60 I think maybe 90 is free yeah, let's pick 90. Okay, let's pick 90. Find my major. So our major device number should be 90. And my major. And we have to give the register chart of the following arguments. Um, the so major device number we want to use, then we have to give it a name, def number driver, for example, or def number, let's just, let's just write def number, or my def number. Okay. And so, and we have to pass this file operations. Okay, so now we have to check the return value. If it was zero, then the major device number was free and we could register it with the major device number um, 90 and the minor device number nine um, zero. So def number registered def num registered device number major minor my major zero so if the return value is greater than zero there is already a device number with this major number and then in this case, okay, our if we shifted the whole thing by twenty, we should get the major device number, and if we it will, we um, only take the downer. 20 bytes are the minor device number, so if we make this, we should get the correct device number. Let's try it. I, should, I think it should work. And else, else if we, so if we get a negative value back, something went wrong. Could not register device number. 
and I will return minus zero to indicate an error occurred. Okay, and that's it. So only thing we have to do is, um, if we unload our module, we want to freeze the device number here. So just let me add the function unregister unregister dev my nature true and I have to pass the string dev number okay and after that um, it should be unregistered so now let's try to compile it hopefully I haven't made a mistake here let's see okay I have a typo here Of course, it has to be a return value. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, and now if we um, look at our proc devices and grep for my dev number devices, sorry. Okay. Oh, I haven't loaded it, sorry. Okay, so now I will load it. And now if I look for it, okay, we can see we have assigned the major device number uh, 90 to our kernel module. Okay, so now let's create a device file in the bash. For doing so, we can use the command make not and here, let's say I want to name it my device. So this should be the name of our device file. We want it to be a character device file, as we saw in proc devices, there are character device files and block device files. And character device files are, I will only use character device files in my tutorial because, because they are device files you can read to write from like a normal device. And now we have to assign the device number. Let's make 90 and 0. Okay, and now if we look at dev my device, we can see here we have a new device, my device, and it's assigned to the major device number 90, the minor device number 0. Okay, so now let's create a simple um, C program to um, open and close the file so we can see a little kernel lock here. But before, let's check the kernel lock. Okay, here we have hello kernel and we have registered um, our device with the number 90 and 0. Okay. So we'll create a file called test.c. I have to include some standard headers. As this is a normal user space program, I can use all so the includes I'm used to. Okay. And all we are doing here is int main. We will int def. We will call the open function. And we want to open it read only here, but this should be a no, don't care here as we don't evaluate it. And after, and we check if the reading was successful. As an opening, sorry. And if opening was not possible. And let's turn on one here. And after that, we'll just close it. I think it should be, yeah, it should be that easy. 
So now let's to let's try to compile it. Okay, undeclared. Okay. Yeah, sorry, this has to be dev. Okay. And before we run it, I have to change the permissions for our device file. And now if we execute it, opening was successful. And if we check the lock again, okay, we see here, open was called, close was called. And let's take a last look at cat proc devices or Okay, we have already done this. Okay, so that's how to um, create callbacks and um, connect a device file with a device number in a Linux kernel module. And the next, um, this time we created our device file by um, using the mknode command. But in the next video, I will show you how to do, uh, how to assign or how to create the device file within your lin within your Linux kernel module. Thanks for watching, and I hope I will see you in the next video.